Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to what's gonna be the finale of Star Wars Rogue Squadron on the N64. Let's load up my old file here that has everything everything unlocked. And we are gonna do Beggar's Canyon. Race through Beggar's Canyon in your T-16 Skyhopper. Test your skill against Zev, Dak, or Wedge. Yeah, Zev, Dak, or Wedge, depending on who you pick, determines the metal that you get. Wedge is the hardest, but I'm not gonna go for that right now. This is at Beggar's Canyon. It's tricky, so listen up. The main canyon is fairly simple, but watch out for sand crawlers taking a shortcut. The left branch is harder, but the right branch is the toughest. Lots of twists and turns. Jason and I used to shoot through it with no brakes. Well, I'm an old bantha, so I'd better take the main route. I'll meet you at the moisture farm on the plateau. Well, I'll take the left branch if you don't mind racing against me. I guess you're on the right branch, huh, Wedge? You got it. So yeah, a little bit of replay value here. You could do it three times, see what each of the three paths looks like. The right one is real twist and turny. It's kind of hard to stay alive in it. But I'm just kind of like showing it off a little bit, so I'm taking the main path here. Sand crawler. Yeah, that was really easy. Wow. I feel guilty beating you guys. I used to make this run every day in my old T16. Hey, we got the gold! Not really, it's just because I already have the gold. That would have been bronze. You gotta beat Wedge for gold. But yeah, that's just a quick Beggar's Canyon race. You could choose your path and whatever. Let's go on to the next one, the Death Star Trench Run. Travel down the Death Star Trench, eliminating as many laser cannons as possible. If the trench guns stop firing, you can bet the Death Star's complement of ties will be in close pursuit. Continue down the trench until you reach the exhaust port area. Good luck, and may the force be with you. Yeah, this one's a little bit weird. Like I said, it's not as good as the GameCube trench run. There's no cutscenes or anything for this stuff. Look at the size of that thing. Cut the chatter. Wedge, hold him off as best you can. Rogues. We're gonna have company real soon. Inbound fighters at 1013. I caught you. They came Like literally all this is is just going and destroying laser cannons and trying to avoid the TIE fighters. I'm here! And it, do it doesn't feel very trench-like. Compared to the way the GameCube game does it. More fighters inbound on one seven decimal two eight. Help me out, yeah. I'm hit. Rear shields down. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Ah! Yeah, I think getting gold on this is really tough. You gotta be fast. I'm hit, but not that. We're down. And the friendly the saves thing down. is hard because you see these guys are crying about getting shot down every two seconds. Ah, nuts. But you get three lives though, and we are playing with the cheat on still for infinite lives. Well, this is definitely doable in three lives. I caught you. I'm hit. Rear shields down. Ah! I'm hit. Rear shields down. Ah! I'm clear, but my fighter is down. Should be coming up on the end any I'm moment clear, now. My fighter is down. Oh yeah. Han, Chewie, well, what are you doing here? Thanks, Han. And good luck. They did that better on the GameCube too. Maybe I'll play the GameCube one. I gotta practice it though, cause I, I kind of want to be better at it than I was here. Sorry, I'm out. I'm hit. We at the end yet? Oh yeah, we're at the end. Ah, uh, 
Let's just get full health and go for the torpedoes. There's a lot of turrets here at the end. Anyway, yeah, you shoot the torpedo in the hole and there you go. Time, enemies destroyed, and accuracy were not good enough for gold. Yeah, gold is tough. Friendly saves is not a thing, though. Maybe gold is not that tough. You just gotta be good. And Battle of Hoth, final one. Experience the Battle of Hoth from the cockpit of your snowspeeder as you hold off Imperial forces and help the rebel transports escape. I don't think this Hoth is as fun as Shadows of the Empire's Hoth. But it's still cool. The transports can't escape unless the probe droids are gone. Good shooting. Nice. Rogue 10 is down in Sector Lambda. He needs your assistance. I talk. I'm on it. Maintain visual scan. There's a 2D guy in trouble. Let's swing wide for this last one, because otherwise we're probably not going to make it. All right, that saves him. Use your harpoons and tow cables. Go for the leg. Here we go, Dak. Here we go, Dak. This is kind of neat, though. Hoth always feels cool, no matter how they do it. I think it's also in the GameCube game, is it not? Uh, we'll go for the big guy first. But yeah, these are very obviously bonus missions. They're just real quick asides, like even quicker than the already fast missions of the game. That's it? No, that's not it. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, obviously you gotta do it before they take out the base. It does feel good flying around the legs. It's a little bit clunky though with this stick. I kind of can't wait to go back to the GameCube one and see how that feels. One more pack. Just to be able to see things too. Alright, we got one more. Can we do it in time? You think they would have to give you enough time to do this, right? One more pack. I remember in like the NES game or something, my dad was saying that you had to go in between the legs. Good work, Rogue Squadron. The base has been evacuated. We'll meet you at the rendezvous point. And Luke, the Falcon made it out all right. Don't do anything foolish like running off to Dagobah. Yeah, there you go. That's just the bonuses of Star Wars Rogue Squadron. That will do it for the game. I'm not concerned about getting all gold and doing it legitimately. Just kind of wanted to see it again. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you for the next Let's Play.
Take care.